I'm trying to keep my cool here. I'm trying to be as relaxed as I can be. But to be honest, I've been waiting for this grill like forever since I saw the first picture. It's one of the last grills to come out in 2020 and oh boy. <laughs> oh, on the pictures, it looks amazing. But we gotta take it out of the box, man. It's freaking me out. can't believe it's here our beautiful phantom and look at this thing it's absolutely insane when i saw a picture of it for the first time it blew my mind but now that we have it in the studio it looks even better than the pictures this thing is so cool and especially for us we like to take pictures we like to make videos of it and look at this thing it's not a necessity it's kind of like a lifestyle thing we got the shiny stainless steel which is cool but phantom black <sighs> come on man you can't beat phantom black there's a good reason batman dresses in black and rides around in black and you know batman's kind of cool the phantom right here even cooler but you can't just have a grill that's all looks and no performance. Well, this thing has performance. It has 27 kilowatts of power. And that's in this small package. When you crank this puppy full on with all three burners on, you get so much heat, it's raising to searing temperatures in no time. And of course, all that power has to lead to something. We gotta have temperature inside that grill because if you have power and if you have heat, we still need to transfer to the food. So we tested it with some chicken legs, with jalapeno peppers, some lamb chops and some sausages. And guess what? The heat was so intense, but it also was everywhere. So all of the infrared heat built up in that grill went into the food and cooked it to perfection. Crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside. That's what I'm looking for. As a pit master, I need a good tool, and this is a good tool. Would you buy this grill, Morrison? It's too expensive. <laughs> it's too expensive. Oh, come on, Morrison. I just gave you a raise. I didn't give him a raise. <laughs> I can't afford it. I bought the Phantom grill. Morrison, what would you rather have? That I buy the Phantom grill or do, that you get a raise? Okay, did you buy the Phantom Grill? No. <laughs> and what I believe to be the secret of the performance may not even be all that power. I think the real secret is the base. It's cast aluminium and it's so intense with heat. All that heat that it soaks up and then gives back an infrared, it just makes your food extra juicy. The hot air, the confection air that comes through, it just blows through and just pops out the back end. That is what crispens up the food. And that's what I think makes this rogue phantom something special. And then you might think, wow, Pitmaster, that's great. But that's not it. It doesn't stop there. This addition has a side burner that has so much power, I just wanted to see how far we could take it. And I decided to try and melt a Coca-Cola can on it. And guess what? It worked. <laughs> we burned that can down and I didn't want to take it too far because I don't want to destroy the infrared sizzle zone. But man, did we do some damage. So plenty of heat for grilling the perfect steak, of course. We put nothing but the best on and got a beautiful Japanese Wagyu steak, seared it to perfection. And that proves that our sizzle zone performs. It gives you control over the heat, the heat is even, and that might be something that, well, you're kind of missing in charcoal because the heat is never even. You have to twist it, you have to turn it. Uh, I hate to say it, but this is close to perfection. It even has a built-in taser. <laughs> don't stick your finger in there. Seriously, don't. Don't do it. I tried. Don't. You'll be sorry. And I know a lot of people don't really enjoy a gas grill. They want to have charcoal. They want to... Uh, I hate that discussion. You know why? Because 
every person needs their own type of grill. If you're the guy that just grills five times a year, you, there's no debate. Don't go for charcoal, go for gas, because hey, you walk out the door, you turn the knob on and you got power. And this thing, it delivers everything to you. You can have fun with this grill. You can set it aside and just leave it there over the winter. You don't have to worry about charcoal getting damp. The people that say charcoal grills are the only way to go, never had a grill like this. There's not just one way, there are multiple ways. If you're sitting in your penthouse and you can't have a gas grill, you can have an electric grill and you can still grill. And that's what I mean for every different person, there's a different type of grill. And hey, I love my gas grills and especially if they perform like this. Because for me, it's not about the grill, it's about the food that I'm able to produce. This is the important part. And that's the thing you should be worried about too. Do you really think that a Formula One driver cares about the color of the paint on a car? He really doesn't. He cares about the millisecond that you're taking off. And that's what counts. And that's the same thing right here. In all honesty, this video is sponsored of course by Napoleon. They asked me to make a video about it and man, did I enjoy making this video. Morris and I went all in. We took out the lights, set everything up, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys appreciate that. And it's not that I want to sell you guys this grill, but because we don't do a lot of grill reviews videos anymore, but it's just, this one is special. This one is really one that I saw, and I really had like, wow, I gotta make a video out of this. This is, um, this is something else. Don't buy this grill, but you know, it just, I don't care if you buy it or not. I don't, I don't care. It just looks cool. I like it. If you don't like it, I don't care either. I like it. And Morrison likes it. We're going to be using it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. And if you didn't, um, maybe you should tell us about it. I got letters. <laughs> Morrison gets letters. That's not true. He doesn't get letters. Yeah, yeah with a stamp. With a stamp, liar. He's not getting any letters. Do you guys let, write letters to Morrison and not to me? Is that a thing? Is that a thing, Morrison? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Big thank you to our patrons and the YouTube members. And if you did, then, you know, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Tell us about your favorite grill. I want to know. And if there's a grill that I need to review or take a look at or just make some great footage off, cook some food on, tell me about it. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then. It's smakelijk. And keep on grilling. Eva, come! Yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah! Now we're gonna make dog YouTube videos. Dog eats $100 steak. What do you wanna eat? What do you like best? You like the pork ribs, right? Pork ribs. You like the pork ribs. See, she's already stealing the show. Hey, hey, I must stay on camera, Morrison. <laughs>